right behind me is the actual border monument. That's the survey monument, and they're all along the border. Uh, you'll be able to see from one to the next, so the surveyors can see. So the actual physical border is right in the center of that monument. Now, you'll see that the fence is actually a few feet north of the physical border. Now, if you look kind of through here a little bit, you'll see some little sticks. See those sticks hanging uh, on the fence right there? Those were old, uh, those were, used to be American flags. Oh. And six years ago, we started a project uh, where our donors, our supporters, would mail in individual flags with little notes ah. saying secure the border or whatever they wanted to say. Ah. And we started that project. And, and this, of course, made some news locally. And along with our thermal camera, uh, eventually we ended up with this fence. Now, <clears throat> we did that for a couple of years. Then they put the fence up. And then we put, we used to uh, put up little pieces of board and attach the flags to those. We started out maybe with 2,000 flags, and then we went to 3,000, and then to 4,000, okay? And then one year we had them all up along the, and the Border Patrol came out early one morning, tore them all down, and threw them on the ground. Wow. And our maintenance guy saw it. So we decided, well, we'll build our own banners, place for the banner, and that's what this is. Oh, okay. So now, Three years ago, we started with this, and I'll show you. I remember see, you had a big rally there or something, right? We had a rally here about three years ago. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Uh, well, actually, four years ago, before yeah. we put those up. Yeah. That's where um, uh, Sheriff Joe was here. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Now, what we need to do is go around, and I'll show you this. Okay. I, you, you may want to, we may want to walk over there so you can get it. That's fine. It, it's, it's. The point of view is like 19. 14, 14, yeah. Before the first world. So how many Mexican governments has there been since Maximilian and the people? It's like five or six. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when you talk to La Raza, it's like, dude, your government changed so many times. What's it matter? We didn't take nothing from you. You know where Jack Black, uh, Jack Black Jack Pershing Park, when he was looking for a uh, bunch of you? Right there on that hill where my guest house is. Really? Yeah. Now is this... Um, he camped out right there. He was in New Mexico when General Patton got in with the shootout and killed a couple of them? I guess, yeah, in New Mexico. And then uh, they were chasing the him Mexican over. Air Force is coming over and bombing Bisbee. Yeah, I didn't know about that. That's what I read in the museum there, yeah. So, he was pet parked there, okay. I've been told, by right. the old timers here. Okay. Uh, this is really so, impressive. Yeah, this is really, really impressive. How many people did you have here? How many people? Not as many people. Uh, we, uh... All right. American Border Patrol has been working with a small company called Border Technology and demonstrating a new technology we call the sonic barrier. And what you see in the back back there are numbers 0, 2, 4, 6. That, that's 0, 200 feet, 400 feet, and 600 feet. The zero is where the sensors are. There's a line of sensors, they're buried, all solar powered, you can't see them, you don't know where they are. And we run tests over here many, many, many times. Uh, and people are walking and they are detected and a siren goes off when they get to about the 600 foot marker. Roop, roop. <laughs> one woman standing up here at one of our demonstrations, she said, if I was crossing the border, I would turn around and go south. That skyrim was scary. Well, we actually, last August, uh, we had it go off, and then we had a drone take off automatically from over here, and it flew down there on its own and sent back, we had a big video screen up here, sent back video of the people. It did, ran its own search pattern and then went back and landed automatically. And that's the future of border security. These things can be designed to operate under almost any conditions. And I believe this system that we have, so the sonic barrier, we have an identify and identicopter, that is the way you secure a border. All else is folly.